Hi, I'm Peter. And I'm Dylan. And we're here to show you Voyager, Spotify's nearest neighbor search library for Python and Java. What is nearest neighbor search? Nearest neighbor search is a technique used in machine learning, also known as AI, to allow searching for items based on their similarity. We use nearest neighbor search at Spotify to power most of our personalization features, from daily mix to discover weekly to daylist and beyond. Voyager is an open source library that we've built to allow for easy, fast, approximate nearest neighbor search in your existing Python and Java applications. Let's do a quick demo. Here I've got a terminal window open. Let's start in Python. I'm going to use pip to install Voyager. And we can see that if I run pip install Voyager, it installs super quickly, downloads onto my MacBook, and I can use it right away. Cool, let's grab some data to play with. Voyager operates on embedding data. Embeddings are lists of floating point numbers used to represent anything. Sentences, words, images, songs, etc. If two items are similar to each other, their embeddings should be close to each other, allowing us to search effectively through embeddings to find similar items. Here, we're going to download an open source data set of embeddings of words. Each word gets a list of 200 floating point numbers that represents that word, and we can use this to test out Voyager. For more details on how these embeddings are generated, what they are, and what an embedding even means, listen to the Nerd Out at Spotify podcast, where we talk about how embeddings and machine learning models work together. All right, now let's open up a Python shell. Here, let's load the data that we just downloaded and play around with these embeddings to see what they look like. I'm gonna run some code to load up two different variables. We have one list called vectors, which is a list of 200 dimensional embeddings, and another list of labels, which are the words that correspond with each vector. If we look at labels, we can see that they are just regular English words like the and of and and. And if we look at vectors, well, they look a little different. They're actually big long lists that have 200 floating point numbers per word. And that's not really intelligible to us, but this will be super useful to use with Voyager. Now let's import Voyager. First, we need to create an index to put the embeddings into. When you create an index, you must specify the distance metric that you use to compare the embeddings, both when you insert them and then when you query. Here, we're using cosine distance. Cool. Now that we've created this index, let's add all of the embeddings for all of our items to this index. If I check the length of our vectors here, we can see that we have 10,000 words that each have 200 dimensions each. But Voyager handles this no problem. We can do index.addItems and pass in all the vectors. After a fraction of a second, they've all been added. And then we can query the index. To test out Voyager, let's find the vector that corresponds to the word dog. We then pass this vector into the query method of our index, and we get back a list of results that are similar to the word dog. Each result consists of an ID for the vector and its distance to the word dog. Then, in two lines of Python, we can take these results and print out which words they correspond to. The word dog is zero distance away from the word dog, which we might expect because their embeddings are identical. But the word dogs, plural, is a little bit away from the word dog. Then we see that the word cat is further away, bird is even further, and breed, meaning like the breed of a dog, is even further away still. This is great, but what if I want to use my Voyager index in another program? Maybe one written in Java or Scala. That's easy. Voyager indices are portable between languages, and Voyager has great support for both Python and Java. I'll call index.save here, and this index that we've just created will now be usable in any other program written in Python or any JVM-based language. We can even see this index on disk, and for these 10,000 vectors we've just added, this index is only 8.7 megabytes. Let's load up that index in a Java shell and see how we can easily use the same index in Java. First, let's launch jshell with the Voyager jar in the class path. No other dependencies are required here. To start, I'll import a bunch of Java library stuff at the top to make the rest of this easier. Then, let's load our list of words just like we did in Python, so we know which IDs correspond to which words. Next, let's actually load the Voyager index that we just created in Python. All I have to do is do index.load and pass the path to the file, and we can see that Java can load that index no problem. Then, I'll use that load words function to load all the words in as a big long Java list, and we can continue from there. Now, let's find the vector for the word dog, just like we did in Python, and see if we can do a query in the same way. Here, I'm going to find the index of the word dog within the list of words, and then use that ID to get the vector out of the index. And here we see we've got a list of 200 floating point numbers that represent the concept of dog. Then, just like in Python, we can call the query method and get results back that indicate which words are closest to the word dog. And with a couple more lines of code, we can see line by line that we get the exact same results that we got in Python. The word dog is the closest to itself, then the word dogs, then the word cat, then the word bird, then the word breed. 
The code is a little bit more verbose though, because this is Java after all, of course. This is a super quick demo to show you how easy it is to get started with Voyager, but there's a lot more you can do. Voyager supports things like Euclidean distance, inner product distance, reduced precision floating point for less memory usage, multi-threading out of the box in both Python and Java. Did we mention it has no dependencies? Just add Voyager to your requirements.txt, pom.xml, or build.spt. Voyager is fully open source. Batteries included. Okay, I, I think we're done. Check out github.com slash Spotify slash Voyager for documentation, how-to guides, and source code. I've been Peter. And I've been Dylan. And thanks for listening.